Alright, welcome back to Let's Play at Any Limits Adventures. As per usual, we are gonna just get our vintage jawbreakers right off the bat. This time it's Latin. Hmm, this should work. And Greek. And I think there's one more. My my Nope. Okay, by the way, our new guest for today is Ryan. Say hi Ryan. Hi. Also Ryo returns. Yeah, I'm here. This is stunningly anime. <laughs> yeah, I know, right? But yeah, the next uh the next level is all the way over here in this corner, where all the kids are hanging out. The way Ed runs is really funny. <laughs> well, he's the like, silly one. Yeah. Plus, it's actually accurate to the show. Yeah. yeah. So in we go. So yeah, basically they're gonna try and cheat us. So my strategy is we're gonna cheat right the hell back. I, you know, they were always dicks on the show, but they kind of like ramped it up to twenty here. <laughs> Who? You should, Rolf. Everybody. Oh. Uh, yeah, throw, uh, throw double D. He he's the weakest. Like Rolf was usually pretty amicable unless they were being assholes. So yeah, as I showed there, you can't shoot them with balloons. You have to throw these gas cans at uh, the bridges in order to lower them. Like so. I really doubt Kevin matched that. So, by the way, you might think, why Stan? Why aren't you just walking across the bridge? There was a clear pathway there. Yeah, that's an instant death trap. Don't do that. Because Kevin's a jerk. Rookie Pretty mistake. Much. Pretty much, yeah. So instead, we need to do the roundabout way. Yeah, Ed gets the most use here, actually, because, uh, as was stated on the show, he is the ultimate tool. He was. I remember him using his teeth to screw nuts. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so, yeah. Poor teeth. Part one accomplished. But, with those, you can shoot them with balloons. And, as per usual with narrow pathways, you have to use the tower ready to traverse across. So, Ryan, what is your experience yeah. with that and Nutty? My experience is, uh, I grew up watching this show on Cartoon Network like a lot of, uh, people our generation. I liked it, um, I didn't really... I basically just watched it whenever it was on. I won't say it was my favorite. I was always more of a Dexter's Lab or Samurai Jack or Curse of Cowardly Dog kind of guy. Um, but I I enjoyed it. Um, I think they've been putting it out on DVD again or something. Or I saw something with it somewhere, either at the store or online. Here, I'm trying to see if I can somehow make this throw. And no, all that happens is I can knock that squirrel out. <laughs> Rip. But, yeah, that's fair. Uh, how about you, Ryo? Uh, since you didn't get to say during your part, uh, how, how, how's your uh, how's your standing with that, Nutty? Well, stranded in, uh, stranded in the desert waste since I was like eight. It was pretty much the only thing I could pick up on my ham radio. Ah, uh, fair. Also, you can't break these, uh, these cabinets. You have to chuck them. Specifically. Also, you can get a quarter. And now, here's where Sockhead comes in, because only he can press these buttons, apparently. By tearing them apart. And yes, that is, in fact, important to do. 
And here I'm like, why am I not? Eddie. Eddie, please. Eddie. What, Did you what are you doing? Eddie. I've been there tracking your shoes, clearly. <laughs> so now we can switch characters. That's something I don't think I've covered in the other parts. If the three Eds are not near each other, you can't do, like, half your controls. That's so, interesting. So yeah, it's very much a team-based game. Solo team-based game. Yeah, kinda. It's strange, but yeah. Gold Double quarter, D's right a there. girl, right? By the way, that's another thing, Ryo. In this universe, uh, golden dollars are worth 25 cents. Okay, so the currency system makes no sense. <laughs> I, don't th I don't think there's ever been a show or a cartoon that's made 25 cents seem like a lot of money. <laughs> well, no. Ryan, if you want to know why that is, uh, in this universe, quarters are only worth one cent. So. Oh. Oh, wow. Also, a certain somebody has never seen 1940s Mickey Mouse cartoons. Clearly. It's been... It's been, like, years since I even... I think I've People only seen, like, maybe one or 40s? two of the... Well, no, but... You know... <laughs> Look, I imagine time travel. Intriguing. So now for the best part of this, uh... Obstacle course. We get to use Ed. Use your head on those glowing things, Ed! And by glowing things, he means Jimmy. Finally, revenge! <laughs> right. Oh, but he's not crying in pain. Are you so yeah, pretty simple mini game. You just gotta hit Jimmy uh, 15 times. Uh, that said, uh, you can miss a certain amount of times and the game will keep going. But, you wanna do it perfect on your first try because you get a bonus if you do. So yeah, don't don't dilly dally. Hit Jimmy as soon as he pops up, and somehow there's two of him. Beat the ever loving shit out of Jimmy as soon as he comes up. I mean that's the philosophy of the show, right? And so by doing it perfectly, we open that bonus door there. So, is the final boss Jimmy in his sumo wrestler form? <laughs> that would be something, wouldn't it? But yeah, we get a jawbreaker for our efforts. My favorite food group, next to gravy. <laughs> Alright. So now... Can we hit the squirrel? The answer is no. But we can do this. Yeah, these things can be pretty annoying since they lug stuff at you from across the map. Don't go too far ahead yet, though, because around this corner... There is actually a sandbox that you should dig up. This is probably the easiest to miss sandbox in the game. Dig a hole, dig a hole. Dig a hole, dig a hole. And with that, okay, we get the first okay, costume oh, piece of the second well, costume in this game. Glue. You'll know what it is later. Alright. On we go. Ryan, you said your favorite character was Eddie, right? Yeah, growing up, I, I always liked uh, Eddie. I don't know why. Is it because he's a douche? Is that why? I guess. <laughs> no, it was the polka dot speedo. Ah, yeah, I think I think it's his friggin' his friggin' stupid ass yellow polo that just stands out. <laughs> You seem frustrated, my friend. <laughs> Why do you hate polos? <laughs> Did a polo kill your father or something, Ryan? No, they're just ugly. Dang. They're ugly and they don't belong. Dang! My, my, intriguing. How about you, Ryo? Who, who is your favorite of the Eds? Eddie's brother. Oh yeah. Ed, he, his name's not Ed or Eddie. Or anything close to that. I said his brother. But he he's not one of the Eds. Yeah, Ryo, he was asked he was specifically asking about which Ed. I don't care. I cheated. Like Edward Elric, you know. Oh, you mean from Dream Carnival? Yes. Oh lord. <laughs> so these balloon or these splotches of paint, they are actually a hint at what you're supposed to do here. 
uh, or at least if you want the bonus. You have to do, you have to get all these switches, which you might see up there, in a specific order. The first one here being blue. So, take blue and you put it in the blue spot. Now, you might be thinking, hey, is this the blue spot? Because there's a blue piece of uh, paper right there. The answer is no. And if you drop That'd any of these, insane. you have to go get them again. Hmm. So just demonstrating that for you real quick. So now let's go actually put it in its correct spot. It's where the blue wire is. Mm. There we go. However, don't leave that little cove just yet. There is actually a little bonus thing you can get. Right over here. Another golden coin. Oh, and $72. also to make things a little bit easier for you. There you go. It's weird how the pathing in this game is both really good and really bad at the same time. <laughs> yeah, next one we want to get is green, which is across this walkway. Ed, if you would. Thank you, Ed. Oh, he broke it. Yeah, you're going to be using Tower of Eddie a lot here, if you haven't noticed. But for some reason, I was thinking you were going to, like, I might have been, for some reason, I was thinking you were going to use the red uh, dresser, like, and, like, jump on it for some reason. <laughs> I mean... They don't let you. Yeah, pretty much. Oh. Alright, so You have next, the platform using our way. Next, you'll want to break this fence with Ed. And don't worry, you don't drown if you fall in the water like I did here. Although there is a freaking alligator in here. Oh, and that crate there, not really worth it. All that's in it is like a single quarter. So, I mean, if you want to get it, by all means, use Trample Ed to traverse, but, uh... Hey, do you want a 100% the vintage jawbreakers? You need all of them. Oops. Yeah, I suppose. Again. And that's Ed's line for when he can't do an action that you just heard, because Eddie got caught down there. So... There we go, break the fence. Next is orange. By the way, for the record, my favorite Ed is Ed. I always just found him so hilarious. Both as a kid and, and that now. chicken fetish was very progressive. Uh, I, I guess, but <laughs> I don't think it was a fetish. I mean, he tried. Dude, to he one has a. Point. I know. Like, Ain't anyway, ever heard of war. Last one is red. We're not going in there. We're not going into <laughs> that. No. Well, I'm just saying he had a magazine for them. Shush. I'm all for fetishes in my cartoons. You would be, Ryan. <laughs> well, you like totally spies, so... This is exactly. true. <laughs> mm, maybe that'll be ten subscribers. Although my question now is, how the heck did Kevin manage to do all this crap? Oh yeah, there we go. Bonus door is open. Well, simple. Kevin didn't actually have to do this. They're just Probably. being dicks. And Jawbreaker. And there's also a dresser here for more money. Alright. We're starting to get to the last leg of this. And, uh, Ed, why did your brain stop? Everyone was right next to you. Check in! And Double D died, which means everybody died. However, it doesn't matter because we still got the Easter egg. Hey, Wilfred. How's it hanging? Anyway. Be sure to use Eddie here because he has the best combat, as I've said before. And there's a lot of enemies along this trail, so the yo-yo comes in a lot of... Uh, it's really handy. I mean, calling this binary basic attack action combat is a... Bit of a stretch. Combat. The action of engaging in fighting. Therefore, it is combat. Oh, Diaz. I couldn't call that a fight. <laughs> it's kicking a small animal. <laughs> you have done well, Ed Boy. But your real challenge awaits. Best victory to headbutt, then you may continue. 
smash heads with a goat? You gotta be kidding me! Oh, get them, Victor! Fun fact, Victor actually doesn't right, get you unless you approach him. Literally. There's no way Kevin did this. Right. Shouldn't shouldn't double D be in the front? So yeah, just go in circles and Victor can't do much to you. <laughs> that said, he got caught on Rolf, so I had to reposition myself a little bit. I feel like you're cheating. I'm really not. But yeah, Victor is dead, and we are allowed to progress. Rolf has nothing to say about it. Nope, he doesn't care. Oh, now for the most annoying part of this easy. entire thing. Hi, Kevin. Not bad for a bunch of dorks, but the race ain't over yet. We'll be waiting for you at the finish line. In your dreams. Oh my so god. So yeah, you have to race Jeez Kevin cool. here. If you don't immediately start off using Batterhead, yeah, good luck. You lose because <laughs> there's no way you can outrun a bike. <laughs> And also hey. during this course, the floor will randomly uh, disappear. And they also had the gall to hide a secret here, as I'm showing you. A jawbreaker. So you gotta move quick. And see, Kevin already caught up to us. Seriously, though. That was them to give you a little shortcut like that, though. It really wasn't a shortcut. It actually takes you know, more time the... because you have to grab the jawbreaker. The chimp world cameo, though. I know, right? That's pretty legit. It is. There's a lot of nice references to the show in this game. It's part of the reason I appreciate it so much. But yeah, just keep a steady course and you will eventually win the day here. Just again, be careful because there are bits that will fall to slow you down and Kevin is always right behind you. But somehow we managed to do it in one go. And as such, that's the level. I won't let you off so easy. Congratulations, Ed Boy. You have done well. But I have only one badge, and there are three of you. Just give it to me. I did most of the work. Eddie! Oh, no, Ed Boy. An urban ranger must do the honorable thing. Here, I will trade you for mine. It's got shiny things on it. 